What would you send a user who's about to churn? Would you send them a discount or a reactivation campaign? Well, it actually depends on how likely they are to churn. See, for a user who's 60 or 70% likely to churn, sending them a reactivation or a winback campaign might make total sense. For a user who's 95% sure they're going to churn, it really doesn't make sense to spend time to try to win them back. Also, if there's only like a 20% chance of churn, then we totally shouldn't send that person a reactivation campaign at all. Uh, there are probably much more valuable things we could send them. Now, what should we send people who are about to subscribe or make a purchase? Well, again, it depends, right? If somebody is 60, 70, 80% likely to make a purchase, then giving them a discount or some kind of incentive might actually make sense. It might push them over the line to where they make a purchase. But if they're already 95%, if we're already 90% confident that they're going to make a purchase, then sending them a discount is just giving away margin for something they were going to do anyway. And again, if there's only a 20% confidence that they're actually going to make a purchase, sending them a discount doesn't really make sense. We should be sending them something else more valuable, like a product discovery email, for example. This is the logic behind propensity triggering. So it's not sending triggered messages based on events, but sending them based on how likely a user is to do a particular action. Because two people who are about to make a purchase might actually be at totally different points of their buying journeys, so we should talk to each of them differently. In AMP, setting up a trigger based on propensity is as easy as selecting a drop-down box and typing in a percentage. If you want to know more, please drop us a line at hello at amp.com.